Yes, I got it. I think Go. I gave you most of the spiel inside, so uh, yeah. You know how to drive an automatic, right? I think so. Well, go to town. Yeah, I like that. Wow, it's super cool. quiet too. I like it. We're gonna get onto uh, JFK Parkway North, so we make a left out of the section of the parking lot, and then a uh, quick right. None of that, Travis. Regenerative right here. Braking. Regenerative braking is uh, quite odd. Yeah, you get used to it. Most people think it's going to take like some adjustment period, but no, if you drive around the car, or if you drive around in the car for a couple hours, you're used to it. <laughs> I like the color on this one. Yeah, no, this is, I like the way this one's built. Yeah, the gray interior with the black headliner. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. Normally, everybody goes for the black leather seats. And then, yep. and then of course, they want the black headliner. It's like, no, there's got to be some contrast. If you want the black headliner, go with the gray or tan interior. Preferably the gray. Yeah, Travis. <laughs> yeah, so when we, build, when we build yours, we'll gray interior, black headliner. Black car. Black, 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 black metallic rims, paint. Black rims, yeah. Do you have to do like a mat? Do you do like special colors? No, we don't. Yeah. Although you can always do it aftermarket. Yeah, no totally. one is stopping you. A wrap. Not like that. Uh, I saw, so I did a car show uh, about, I don't know, maybe half an hour from here. And it was just a bunch of uh, other Model S owners. Mm -hmm. And the one guy had wrapped his as a uh, matte black with a matte black rims and they looked awesome. I love the feel of it. see the rated range uh, there go up yeah. um, because of the regen braking yeah, yeah but you know it, it will go down more slowly if you keep it on you can set it so that the regen braking is on low and that'll let the car coast kind of like yeah. a normal yeah. car would but I always tell people just leave the regen braking on you when you're driving around town you'll rarely ever have to even touch the brake and if you're on the highway and you're doing 65 70 the momentum of the car will take it, you know, further, so it won't, you know, break so aggressively. Although, if you let off, if you are doing like 65, 70 on the highway and you let off the, the uh, accelerator, the brake lights will actually go on because the region oh, braking is yeah. fairly aggressive. Was that over certain speed just hit or? Uh, well, just anything over like 45, the car, you know, it's got a mo enough momentum going that it, the regen braking doesn't feel quite as aggressive. I mean, when you're at like, you know, when you're under 40, it only really takes the car maybe 10, 15 meters to slow down to like five miles an hour. Yeah. I mean, this? to come to a complete stop, you still have to step on the brake. Yeah. How's the uh, 
the break distance from zero to sixty or sixty to zero? You know, I'm, I don't know no, the no. exact number on on that. Oh, I had one guy take it up to ninety and then slam on the brakes. Oh my god! And I literally <laughs> felt like all the fluid in my brain just like <laughs> just go to the you know my forehead. It's like <laughs> and. After that, I was like, okay, you need to pull over right here. And then I drove across the way back. Why did he, did he do that? Because somebody, he wanted to test the brakes. I was like, not cool. I would have, like, not cool. Warning, I want to test the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> well, and again, I told him, don't take it over 80, and he still did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Speaking of 50, that's, that's, that's nice. Yeah, so, I mean, we were talking about the autopilot uh, package. Um... The forward-facing camera is reading all the road signs, so it's always picking oh, really? up. If there's a speed limit sign, okay, you can actually get into the right lane now. Um, we'll make the next right. Um, so, like, it's been on this road dozens yeah. of times, so it, it already knows the speed limit on this road, so it doesn't have to see a speed limit sign to tell you it's 50 miles an hour. But if you go, you know, above, you know, the speed by a certain amount, It'll let you, you know, it'll give you that reminder. Right here? Or? Yeah, we're going to head right. After we make a right at the next traffic light that we come up to, you're going to make another right. It's a two-lane road, and I want you to stay in the right-hand lane. Roll about 10, 15 meters uh, past the light, and come to a complete stop, and that's where we're going to test the 0 to 60 time. <laughs> oh, and he's going to love that. Yeah. When we do that, you need to sit back all the way. I will. Because <laughs> otherwise it'll throw you back in the seat. <laughs> Don't need anybody like getting whiplash or anything. And I'll sit back right now. <laughs> and when you do that, when you hit the accelerator, make sure you just like punch it right to the floor. You don't want to mess around. Don't like gradually bring it to the floor. That's how whips do it. <laughs> <laughs> Does it spin tires four wheel drive? No. Well, not at all. Even in I mean, I've only been working at Tesla since April, but I've had it out in some like torrential downpours, and it does not slip. Like you can't get these tires to peel out. Maybe in snow or ice, they'll, it, you know, if you slam it like that, they may spin a little bit. But I'm definitely curious to try it out uh, once uh, we start seeing some snow. Does it have a traction control setting? Yeah, absolutely. It's a traction control all the time. It's got a more advanced all-wheel drive system than any other yeah, car. Well, yeah. So other cars, I'm sure you know, use like limited slip differential or they use a computer to apply uh, mechanical brake pressure. Our car, the motor puts power out directly to each wheel and mm -hmm. it does it independently. So if one wheel starts to spin or, you know, is it, if it's moving faster than the others, it just shoots an electronic signal to that wheel, telling it to slow down and it slows down immediately. Nice. So this is where we're gonna take a right. Like I said, just make the right, stay in the right lane, and just roll like 10, 15 meters past uh, the light. And once you're at a complete stop, slam on it. He's gonna enjoy that so much. Yep, pull up there, <laughs> stop, and then I'll slam it, yeah. You're still recording, right? Yes, I'm still recording. <sighs> and then stopped. I'm ready. Bring it on. Go fairly slow and let both those BMWs uh, pass you. <laughs> so, right here is good. Right. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my <laughs> oh, That's like a freaking roller coaster. Yep. <laughs> Your phone almost smacked me in the face. <laughs> Thanks for stopping at 60. <laughs> That's where most people get it up to 80, and I'm like, all right, you can take it down now. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Zero to 60 is fine. What is it, like 2.8 seconds or something? Uh, this one is 3.1. In the P90D with Ludacris, it's going to be 2.8. Oh, you got Ludacris? <laughs> no, we don't have that yet, unfortunately. Hopefully we'll get one. I want to try uh, it first. That's a hardware <laughs> thing or something? Yeah, it is hardware based. That uh, that modification. So. <laughs> wow, that was incredible. <laughs> my face like push back. I know. I had this 
older gentleman yesterday come in and this guy was, you know, a college professor, you know, PhD in mathematics and I let him do that there and then after doing it there, he kept stopping and doing it again. He did it like six <laughs> times. I'm like, okay, I'm glad you're having fun. Enjoying it a little too much. <laughs> yep. Then I asked him, I'm like, so, you know, have you looked at any other cars? He's like, He's like, yeah, BMW, Mercedes, Lexus, Audi. I'm like, okay, so you're you're in the market for a new car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely in the market for a new car. It's just not one that's 130,000. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, as soon as my lease is up, I'll probably be getting a Model Three. So another two years, we'll have Model Three out, and that'll be a car that starts at 35,000. So. And I'm sure there will still be That's, uh, a version of that car that will do 0 to 60 in probably under 4 seconds. It's the, uh, is it like a, you know, a sedan or is it a... What's that? Is it a sedan or is it like so a coupe? Or? It'll probably be a two-door coupe. Uh, it won't have an all-aluminum uh, frame and body. No. Uh, more than likely it'll be steel. And uh, we're going to make a left up here. And it'll be about 20% smaller than this car. But my guess is it'll look very similar to this car. Yeah. Oh, my arms are getting uh, tired. But it's alright, you can stop. Can I stop recording? My arms hurt. Yeah, I can. <laughs> 